fellow carbon-based bipeds. I'm Scott Rose, and you are watching Explosions and Stuff. Today, I'll be reviewing the 2016 film Rumble, starring Gary Daniels, Luis Gattaca, and Fabian Lopez. But first, a word from our sponsors. Overview of the movie? Former MMA champion David Garan is reduced to fixing fights in order to pay off the debt his girlfriend owes. Now in Mexico, she has been kidnapped by the local mob, and Garan must face off in a series of fights in order to ensure her safety. pros of this movie? Well, first of all, I think this movie had a good plot. Yes, it's the typical damsel in distress plot that happens in, like, every other action movie, but there's a reason why it happens like that. Because it works. Every guy wants to be that hero. He wants to save his girlfriend or his wife from some kind of danger. He wants to prove that he can protect her. And through watching these types of movies with this type of plot, they get to live it out vicariously through the hero of the movie. Every guy has that fantasy, and through these kind of plots, they get to live it out, and that's why they work, that's why those movies make money, and that's why they will continue to get made, and they were smart in going through with this kind of a plot. Also, the fight scenes in this movie were phenomenal. They were choreographed by Gary Daniels, who is an accomplished martial artist. He is a very skilled fighter. He's good at his job. He's fantastic in the martial arts, kind of mediocre at acting and stuff. But in the fight scenes, he is good. He nails it. And the fight scenes in this movie were absolutely stunning and spectacular and wonderful. The fight scenes in this movie were splendid. Also, this movie had a nice little plot twist at the end. I'll be honest, I was going through the movie being like, yeah, this person's the bad guy. They may not be the main bad guy, but they were a bad guy. It seemed really you know, really predictable and just the same stuff over and over and over again. But then it gets to the end, and there's this nice little twist that I never saw coming. And I'm not going to say what it was because I don't want to spoil stuff or anything, but it was spectacular. I love that twist ending to it, and it really, really helped make this movie better. The cons of this movie? Well, let's be honest. There were some parts of this movie where the music in the background was louder than the people talking. Like, I could not hear the dialogue because of the music, and because it was being so loud, and even just scene sound effects like at one point you got gary daniels he's choking out some guy he's got him in a headlock but he makes this move like he's gonna break their neck and you're sitting there looking at it, it's like there's no sound there might have been a sound but it was drowned out by the music so you don't know if he choked him out or if he broke the guy's neck it looked like he should have broken the guy's neck by just the the action that he put into it but you can't tell because there was no sound for it later on you find out he just kind of choked the guy out and hurt his neck a little bit but you still couldn't tell during the scene if the guy was being choked out or if he died. And he didn't show up until like the last third of the movie. So the whole time you're like, did that guy actually die? I don't know. What the hell's going on? Just a lot of times the music drowned out everything else that was going on in the scene audio wise. And that really made it hard to pay attention to the movie. Also, during a lot of these fights, they were in this arena, which was really just like a square box, like a pit that's in the shape of a square that they got lowered into. But those fight scenes felt disconnected from the rest of the movie. Like, you never saw him go to the arena. You never saw him walk up to the little pit ring thing. It was just here, he's in this living room, and the cuts to the next scene, and he's standing in the pit about to fight somebody. There was just no, like, traveling to the pit. It made it feel like those fight scenes in the arena were from a different movie or just something completely unrelated. It felt out of place and just bad. 
And also, the film quality of this movie was horribly inconsistent. And I don't mean like, oh, you know, here they have some good shots and here they had some crap shots. No, I'm talking like here. They used good quality cameras and good quality mics and stuff. And then in these other scenes, they used you know, just vastly inferior camera equipment and vastly inferior mics. It just the quality of the film itself was bad. Like the equipment was bad, not just some guy had no idea what the hell he was doing. They, they used crap equipment to film these scenes and great equipment to film these other scenes. Now, if they had just stayed with the crappy camera the whole movie, I probably wouldn't have even noticed. But because there was that difference in quality, it stood out like a serious sore thumb to me. My overall thoughts on the movie? This is an enjoyable movie, but I doubt I'll ever watch it again, so I'm giving it the Zangief. Really, this should fall between the Zangief and One Thumb Up, but I don't have a rating there, so I'm just going to round down for it. The fight scenes are great, and the plot is entertaining, but there's just so many technical issues that make this movie hard to watch. I would recommend watching Rumble once if you're a fan of Gary Daniels, but not much more than that. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like it and subscribe to our channel for new action movie reviews posted every week and top 10 lists posted on the 10th of every month. Also, if you have any recommendations for things to cover in the future, please leave them in the comments below and follow us on Twitter at explosions underscore TV. Thank you and have a nice day.